Welcome back to Let's Play Mischief Makers. This may be a smidgen of a short video, but that's fine, because we've done it. We've beaten the game. That's it. That is all there is to it. Um, you can see we've gotten gold gems on every stage. We did it on every last one. Go us. Now, the one last thing that I can mention is we're going to be getting the effectively best ending, but we're going to be missing out on one very small thing, which I'll point out when we get there. And the reason we're going to be missing out on that is because I did not, in fact, get every gold gem. There is one gold gem left that you get in 5-9, but in order to get it, you have to have an overall rank of A. I think this is how it works anyway. And my overall rank is C. Which means, for the most part, you just have to get A in every level. If you get a B, you have to get an S to counterbalance that. But I'm not going to go back and redo some of these stupid levels all of these stupid levels to get the rank up that high. I don't care that much. Rank is based entirely on time as well, so if you want to do it, just speed run that crap. But that's how you get the final gem, is just be speedy. Um, I'll point out when we get there, though, what exactly we're missing out on, but you're not really missing out on anything. Having defeated both Leo and the combined force of the Beast Ector, the world is safe! We can enjoy our time and watch the ending go. It's a me. So you may notice that the game that the ending is playing out at, the, at its own pace. I cannot advance or speed up the dialogue. You may also notice my gold gem counter in the upper left corner, and that it's slowly counting down. How much of the ending you see is based on how many gold gems you have. Now, you only need, like, half to two-thirds of the gold gems in order to get the ending, so you don't have to, like, go like, nose to the grindstone to get every last gold gem. And some of them are pretty easy to get. A lot of them are pretty easy to get. But if you want to get the full ending, if you want to get the last couple bonus scene stuff things, you got to get all the gems. Yeah, we all kind of figured as much as Celeste was actually royalty, but, like, you know, it's nice to actually know. And the king's back and everybody's happy. Hey, I remember that from, like, level one. Yeah! Look at that crap! Damn, but Terra. What's up, Terra? How you doing, guy? You don't look so hot. Oh, and by the way, if you run out of gems at any point, the ending just cuts. Like, that's it. Instead of showing the next little bit of scene, bam, that's it, you're done. It still treats it as, like, you beat the level. 
wonder what happens if you come in with zero jump. I think zero counts, so you'd see, like, that very first little cutscene, and then that cut. I think if you got the A rank, I think you get the final gold gem when he kicks Marina. I think. Oh yeah, I remember you. You were the you were the one who had a crush on Terran. Yeah, and he block man around as a guardian. Yeah, knock him out. Oh my goodness, that music is so good. Like, that's just the title screen music, but it's so good. Like, as a kid, I recorded that music off the game with a VCR and an attachment to a computer so I could burn that song to a disc or CD and listen to it. And, like, there you go. There's your ending. And at this point, you kind of think, okay, so the rest of the agenda just to get the rest of the credits. That's cool. Man. Man, this game. Like, it's... The game is a little rough around the edges here and there. But it's still just every bit as amazing as I remember. Like, I only wish they did more. Give me a Mischief Makers 2! Dang it! Oh, but we're not done yet. Yeah, I don't know who you are. He's so excited. Yeah, go punch some guys! That is cool, though, seeing him like this. <laughs> I 
like that he's a businessman. You know, Mirko, if you dropped the whole, like, Dr. Smooth love crap, I think I actually like you the best. Just keep your, like... Keep that away from me. But keep your, like, justice and crap. I even think your bird design is super cool! Not as fond of this design. Fight, mighty beast Hector. Can they do, are like they as powerful as humans as they were as like animal machine hybrids? Because I don't feel like it. Oh, hey, how you doing? Man, she looks so cool! Look at her! So, two things of note. One is her appearance is actually based on the age that you put into the game at the very, very beginning. Um, if the age that you put in is over, I think, 13, she looks like that. And if it's below that, then she instead looks like a child. So they actually matched her to, I mean, granted, there were only two options, but they matched her at least to the vicinity of your age. And then the last thing you'll note is you mentioned, I did mention that there was one gold gem I was missing. If you get that gold gem, there is one very last little clip where Dr. Theo is just... It's just a big, big shot of Dr. Theo with hearts in his eyes, going like, Marina! And that's it. That's all you're missing out on. So don't worry about that gem. And then the end credits are the actual end credits. So this has been Let's Play Mischief Makers. This has been a favorite game of mine for a very long time. Not only is, I mentioned how creative and memorable the level design is, but the sense of humor, the style of the game is amazing. I friggin' love Marina's design. She is an amazing character. Um, the mechanics are I want to say grabbing and throwing isn't necessarily a unique mechanic, but the way they handled it was unique. No game plays like this. Especially when you realize that you can grab anything. I do think there is... It's... I think the design is maybe a little wonky here and there, but it's minuscule, especially if you're not going for every last gold gem. I think, um, especially by the time you got to World 5, figuring out how to handle certain things, like um, some of the stuff in the friggin' second Mirko fight against Phoenix Gamma, was weird. Because the camera would, like, zoom in and out and shuffle you around for you. Like, it just didn't control well at all. And there's a couple other little kind of jank spots throughout the game, but like 
if you're not playing for the gold gem, I feel like Phoenix Gamma was the only thing that was genuinely frustrating. Everything else was either me being stupid or whatever. Um, I do feel like maybe some of the difficult the difficulty of some of the gold gems was maybe a little not balanced as well as it could have been, because there were like three standout levels that are just unreasonably hard compared to everything else to get the gold gem on. And then all the other old gold gems you can just kind of get. And on one hand, I guess that's so you have to, like, legitimately work for that, like, that full ending. But most people can still see the regular ending. But I still feel like maybe they pushed it a little harder than they needed to in some places. But, like, that's, that's, that's a drop in the bucket. That's behind me. The game is amazing. It's super fun. It's super creative. Try to play it with an actual Nintendo 64 controller and not this stupid thing I'm playing it with. Game's good. Super great. Marina's great. Shake, shake. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>